but that's the, the, the nice part i think you always discover new things um in general yeah i'm used to it like just not everything like the country is like really safe and you know good organized and we know a lot of places where you know like to eat something or to get food or to visit and also like we love for example the suwan lake park we always go there for some fresh air and like seeing some nice like nature or something so yeah we have our fixed places that makes it comfortable uh like honestly i didn't hear so much things about korea which like just about volleyball things i heard but um like about the country and lifestyle not so much which made it really like more interesting you know coming here and discovering everything for myself so that was nice uh, i knew vale <laughs> Um, no, I didn't. I didn't really know Korean players. Just Kim. Ah, yeah, I remember the morning, but uh, of this trial. But I really also, um, I didn't understand what they were saying or something. So I was not like uh, worrying. I was just kind of not thinking about anything and waiting for my name to appear. And so it was okay. Uh, I think in general I like all the girls, you know, and it changes sometimes, you know, like you're a little bit more close with one and then with the other. Obviously, with the language barrier, it's not like that easy, so I would really say that Tati, but I don't know, Bahion. Uh, yeah, she is, because she speaks really well English and she's a super nice girl and I, I really like her, so I think she's like the closest one. And yeah, also Hyujin a little bit speaks English and, and she's a funny, funny person so I like also joking with her and like being, like she's positive so I like that too. And obviously all the rest of the girls, they're all, all very nice but I would say these two because, you know, they speak like mostly English, you know. Uh, yeah, like of course my parents were both national team players and well, yeah, global players, my dad is a coach. And, so when we were young, uh, we grew up like in a volleyball environment. So it's not that they pushed me to go play volleyball, but I really wanted to. Mm -hmm. I wanted to, you know, be as good as my mom or dad. So we started really early, but my dad was taking us first to like general movement uh, schools, you know, like where you learn to have coordination and everything. Um, but he. He was our coach our whole youth. Like, do I say youth? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Every year it becomes more difficult. But now, you know, having him with me, it's a little bit, I take my home with me, so yeah. it's okay. <laughs> if I was like, ah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, well, like when I arrived to my team, I was a little bit later than the others and Baruch was the one that came to pick me up from the airport um, because he was working in that team and so we, he was my coach for a few months and like this I got to know him and then during the season he changed to another team and so then he was not my coach anymore and then we started to fall in love and everything. Just, I just saw how he is looking. I am looking back. <laughs> I feel like I want to be so much around him. Yeah, you know, like, well, it was a team sport and it's not all depending on one, one player for sure. So I, I, I don't try to take so, too much pressure on myself now and just, you know, do my thing and, and get my level in the, in the circumstances that I can, you know, like, because you need also, like, the whole team needs to play good in order, like, you know, to play better. You know, there is 18 more games left, so I feel, like, positive that me personally, I, I can find a way to get my level as high as possible. Hello! <laughs> Just, like, uh, I'm sorry that they cannot be on the on the gym again, but I know that you're cheering from home and I really appreciate it. Even though we are losing, we really like need your support even more. So please give it to us and we will keep you know fighting. <laughs>